So the next the next one, um, since we're talking about sports, the big topic that's been going on the past like week or so is should the NBA return? Are you you a fan of basketball? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I, I me personally, I don't really care about basketball. Um, I find it funny that you know it's it's almost like same thing with football. It's like the slave trade all over again. You know, they bring the guy up on stage. Hey, look who we just signed. He's going to, he's going to play for our team. He's going to modern minstrel show. Right. And it's like yeah. basketball. If you ask me, it's the dumbest sport ever. Cause you're just running up and down the court, chasing behind the fucking ball, shooting it in the net, every up and down. And maybe because, the huh? I respect the, yeah, the logic. I respect it. Yeah. I mean, and and people like it. And like this dude at my job, he got so pissed off. He's like, nah, come on, eh, you supposed to, like, nah, it ain't that serious. And I was like, yo, I'm just joking, dude. Like, I don't give a damn. Like, you know, good for these guys. Um, But so the NBA is talking about returning. Um, I guess they're trying to move everybody down to Orlando, Florida, where Florida just had like this huge spike in Corona cases. So it's like, they're trying to make everybody quarantine in Orlando and then they're going to play the game without uh, fans. And some That's people are, and some people are like, um, yo, bring the NBA back. Like it's, you know, uh, these people have jobs and, and most of it is like fans who are like, just they ain't got shit else to do. That's right. And I'm like, no, like leave, let this shit go. Cause what, 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 what was old boy? The first one that said, um, let's not take a Stephen Jackson, right? Yeah, Stephen Jackson and Kyrie Irving. Yeah, they were like, "Yo, let's not take our eye off the ball. This is this can be a distraction." Oh yeah. And as much as sometimes I agree with uh, Charlemagne, I know you don't like Charlemagne, but as much as I don't um, disagree with him on certain things, I had to disagree with him on this one because he's like, um, he's like, no, these these players they can still use their voice and their platform as if. The NBA can't silence these motherfuckers as they want to. The, the problem with that is then it's infiltrated because I already I knew the, the, the third eye is open. The problem with that is it's infiltrated and now it's corporate. It's not a black protest anymore. They're already talking about putting victims' names of police brutality on the back of their jerseys to replace their names. So instead of LeBron, instead of saying James 23, it'll say like Breonna Taylor, George right. Floyd. Yeah, so it's like you're infiltrating the 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 so-called protest anyway, as it's just out of, nah. And but on top of that, it's a fucking pandemic. Yep. I mean, personally, after going, when they, when they first canceled the NBA, that was when I took the pandemic serious. But after two months, I mean, I was like, okay, we can live without this shit. It's not as bad as we thought it was going to be without basketball. Right. Now, football is a different thing. I might, you might have to tie me to a, a fucking uh, straight jacket if there's no football comes to September. But that, I, and my team is good. And I'm like, bro, I can I can wait till 2021. I'm good. Like, I don't, I don't. If you're still stuck on basketball, especially if you're black and with all this shit we've been going through, like that's not even that should be like the fifth or sixth thing on your mind. All right. this shit going on. We got the election coming up. This we in a pandemic, health crisis, economy's getting crazy, and y'all niggas worried about ball because they want something to take their focus off reality. Right. Wow. But. That's that's where the whole distraction comes in. Everybody thinks that it's just the focus on uh, social injustice. It's like, no, we got the election, like you said. We got a fucking health of- issues. People ain't got jobs. And yeah. A lot of players that went down there already for practice and training camp, and they already got sick. So now they're having to sign on top of a few players that don't want to come, that don't want to risk the you know, corona shit. You had like 16 different guys have already tested positive. And then. Um, Certain play, they, they're having to sign guys from the streets to fill in these spots. Now, what happens if the big stars start getting corona? If LeBron gets it, are you going to cancel it then? You know, because if LeBron gets it, that's it. It's only yeah. a, a, two weeks. The biggest star is out. And, it, I mean? and it's not a full a full season, right? So it won't no, even. July 30th to like September. Uh, you'll be seeing the NBA finals in September. It's going to overlap with football. I, even football, they're talking about shortening the season. They already canceled the preseason game. Some of the you got big stars that got coronavirus. All it takes is for the right star to to get it, and that's it. Yeah. And big time players that sell tickets that people want to see, on, and they can't watch them. And every day I watch these second, third rate guys. Just bring it back next year, bro. Yeah, I mean, 
that's my take on the year in general. Anything that has to do with the year, just let let's 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 regroup next year. Like right. right now, it's a lot going on, and I understand you know these NBA players and these athletes in general. They all have jobs, and you know they have families and all of this stuff. But at the same time, you're talking about risking your health. You know, like we th- these are the same people who were saying, "Oh, you guys need to stay at home so we can all go back to work." Like. Some people are lucky enough to work from home. Some of these players are lucky enough to where as though they've made money, they have endorsements, they, you know, they're good. They don't really need to go back to work. And then you have some that have to go back to work because they live paycheck to paycheck. Oh, yeah. But the the reality of it is, it is a distraction. And I don't care what anybody says because, like you said, it's it'll it'll become corporate if they if they go back and they try to start making these um messages on quote unquote the platforms and right. and then um like what do you think the, the the white man isn't the white man that runs basketball is going to be like all right come on now you guys are yeah. taking away from the yeah. the actual money maker here because who the hell is going to who's who's going to endorse anything because i mean think about it in, in regular time nba would have did the playoffs would have started in april then may would have kicked up and then june so all of these protests that you've seen for the last month and a half, do you think they would have been going on if niggas could watch Sunday afternoon playoff games? Nope. Niggas would have been in the streets 2,000 deep if LeBron and the Lakers were going against Kawhi and the Clippers on a Sunday. Nope. Afternoon. In the East, in the Western Conference Finals, you know, a lot of us would not be out there. Maybe some, but not in big numbers. Yeah, so, it wouldn't be as, as big, and, and we wouldn't have the impact that we have we as have a people. Out there, particularly. Right. When you think about a riot or a protest, usually it's the youth that runs that whole thing. But if the mm-hmm. youth are distracted by the greatest uh, form of entertainment, then what the fuck? So, right. nah, I, I don't think they should bring that shit back to next year. And I would, I'm a diehard fan. My team's in the playoffs and all that. But I'm like, bro, you know, this shit is so bogus. Whoever wins this shit, it's not going to count. It ain't going to like, count anyway. put an asterisk by it. Like, okay, that season wasn't shit. Trash. Just, just throw the whole year away. Put it in rice or something.